I believe I'm in better health than a typical 20-year-old. And I attribute a significant portion of my well-being to the positive changes I've made in my diet. It's remarkable how I've witnessed continuous improvements in my overall health and vitality over time. I had the opportunity to meet with Dr. David Sinclair, a distinguished professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School. And his insights have been truly enlightening and guiding my journey toward improved health and well-being. In 2013, we first met Dr. Sinclair, and it's truly astonishing to see how he has transformed over the past decade. Back then, he was 44 years old. And now at the age of 54, he appears to have defied the aging process, exuding a youthful vitality that's hard to miss. What's particularly intriguing is how he has not only aged gracefully, but seems to have reversed the hands of time. Appearing even younger than his years would suggest one of the key factors contributing to his remarkable journey is his profound shift in dietary choices, which has not only influenced his appearance but also his overall well-being. He underwent a transformative journey driven by scientific principles, and the results speak volumes. At 0.30 in his discussion, he passionately reveals that through meticulous analysis of his own blood chemistry, he has C. Ompelling evidence to support his claim that his body has effectively reversed the aging process. His comprehensive assessment encompasses key markers such as testosterone levels, glucose management, inflammation markers, and the composition of his blood cells, all of which have exhibited remarkable improvements. Astonishingly, across the board, he confidently asserts that he now outperforms the health metrics of the average 20-year-old. In this captivating video, we will delve deeper into his journey and the scientific insights that have propelled him to this extraordinary state of well-being. Let's dive headfirst into the intricate tapestry of Dr. Sinclair's groundbreaking scientific revelations, unraveling his profound insights across five distinctive facets. Our journey commences with a close examination of the exercise principles that lay the foundation for a longer, more vibrant life. Moving on to the second cornerstone of longevity, we'll explore the pivotal dietary habits that Dr. Sinclair deems essential for enhancing one's lifespan. Next, we'll embark on a culinary expedition to discover the specific nourishments that grace Dr. Sinclair's plate, nourishing not only his body but also his quest for lasting vitality. Venturing further, we'll scrutinize the daily supplements that have earned Dr. Sinclair's trust, bolstering his pursuit of optimal health and longevity. Lastly, we'll round off our exploration by delving into the selection of foods that Dr. Sinclair consciously avoids, as they align with his overarching mission of extending the human health span. Prepare to immerse yourself in this comprehensive journey of discovery, where each segment unveils a new facet of Dr. Sinclair's profound insights into the art and science of longevity. In the pursuit of longevity, Dr. Sinclair underscores the significance of not just what you embrace but also what you choose to avoid. By adopting a health-centric lifestyle, one can effectively tap into the power of slowing down the relentless march of aging. This proactive approach not only serves as a bulwark against the creeping deterioration of the body's software, but also holds the potential for a remarkable reboot. When it comes to your physical activity, the goal is to reach a point where you're practically breathless. Picture yourself moving at such a brisk pace that engaging in a casual conversation becomes quite the challenge. It's at this juncture that you can identify a fascinating phenomenon known as hypoxia, a state characterized by low oxygen levels. The key lies in embracing the role of a stimulator for the body's stress response mechanism. When exposed to this kind of stress, your body responds in a remarkably constructive manner. It's akin to a symphony of positive outcomes unfolding within. The pursuit of remarkable health benefits can yield astounding results potentially reducing the risk of debilitating diseases by a substantial 30%. When it comes to fostering longevity, one of the most pivotal dietary practices centers around the concept of eating less frequently. It's a paradigm shift that goes beyond Merle. Considering what you eat, it also delves into the critical aspect of when you choose to eat. The ubiquitous presence of snacks in our daily lives may, surprisingly, be a factor accelerating the aging process unnecessarily. Dr. Sinclair sheds light on a refreshing perspective, one, that challenges conventional eating habits. 
His approach involves condensing our daily eating window to approximately 6 hours. The essence of my daily eating routine revolves around a significant departure. From conventional norms, I refrain from indulging in substantial meals until dinner time. When the evening hour strikes, my plate is graced with a wholesome, plant-based vegan feast that fuels both body and spirit. The crux of the matter lies in the periods of abstaining from food, which emerge as a pivotal factor in fortifying the body's resilience against the relentless march of aging. These extended periods of fasting, which we can liken to a profound internal cleanse, activate a remarkable process known as autophagy. It's a deep and intricate mechanism through which the body recycles proteins with utmost efficiency. These incredible mechanisms within our body, known as switches, come to life when the energy levels run low. It's akin to a responsive system that activates when our bloodstream isn't inundated with excessive sugar or protein. This intricate dance of biological switches is a testament to the body's remarkable adaptability, and it unfolds as a captivating symphony of responses to our dietary and energy choices. Understanding these switches and how they influence our well-being is like unraveling the secrets to optimizing our health and vitality. These remarkable defenders, active at the three-minute mark in our body's intricate symphony of self-preservation, serve as the frontline warriors against the ravages of aging and the onset of certain diseases, conditions such as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and even the ominous specter of cancer have shown promising responses to the practice of fasting, unlocking a double benefit that extends its reach to numerous types of cancers. Intermittent fasting has emerged as a compelling strategy for health optimization. Dr. Sinclair generously offers a practical tip for those embarking on the journey of intermittent fasting. The secret lies in maintaining optimal hydration levels throughout the day by infusing your body with fluids. Staying well hydrated is not only essential for your overall health but also a clever tactic to ward off hunger pangs during periods of fasting. A generous intake of liquids, whether it's in the form of soothing tea, a steaming cup of coffee, or a refreshing infusion of hot water, can work wonders in keeping those cravings at bay. The beauty of this approach is that it grants you an ample 8-hour window for your meals. If you're one to skip breakfast, it paves the way for a satisfying late lunch. Alternatively, if dinner isn't your preferred meal to skip, you have the flexibility to make that choice. This strategic maneuver creates an extended fasting period, offering your body a remarkable respite of over 20 hours without the presence of glucose. This uninterrupted interval becomes a powerful catalyst for the physiological changes associated with fasting, setting the stage for enhanced well-being and potentially a longer, healthier life. When you embark on this journey of disconnecting from the constant influx of nutrients from the external world, a fascinating transformation unfolds within your body. It's a process that takes a few weeks for your body to adapt to fully. During this adaptation phase, a remarkable phenomenon takes place within your liver. It learns to adapt and compensate for the absence of regular food intake. This metabolic marvel is known as gluconeogenesis where your liver steps up to the plate and becomes a glucose-generating powerhouse. Committing to this approach for a minimum of two weeks is key. And as you progress, especially around the three-week milestone, a remarkable transformation occurs within your liver. At this point, your liver has become attuned to your new eating pattern. Understanding that breakfast or lunch won't be part of the daily routine. It responds by consistently producing glucose at a steady rate. The roller coaster of glucose spikes and subsequent crashes can often leave us grappling with relentless hunger, especially after indulging in a substantial meal. However, during the six-hour eating window that Dr. Sinclair has adopted as part of his dietary strategy, the menu takes a distinctive turn towards plant-based choices. It's undeniably intriguing when we turn our gaze towards populations known for their remarkable longevity. Among these groups, common trends begin to emerge. Typically, we find that individuals who enjoy extended lifespans often belong to smaller statures. In many cases, this demographic includes women who practice mindful eating, habits characterized by a preference for vegetarian diets. Indeed, Dr. Sinclair's dietary approach is far from indiscriminate. When it comes to plant-based foods, he zeroes in on a specific category that he aptly dubs stress plants. 
At the heart of this discerning choice lies a captivating concept known as xenohormesis. This hypothesis delves into the intricate relationship between plants and their response to stressors, which, in turn, influences the molecules they produce. The notion that an organism can derive benefits from the consumption of another organism leads us into a captivating realm of potential advantages. This intricate concept, known as xenohormesis, revolves around the idea that when animals ingest certain compounds from plants, it triggers a unique cellular stress response within their own bodies. The term, xenohormesis, emerged as a collaborative effort between Dr. Howitz and myself during the mid-2000s. We embarked on this linguistic journey with a profound question in mind. Why do countless plant molecules exert such positive effects on our well-being? It seemed implausible that this phenomenon was a mere coincidence. Delving deeper into this fascinating terrain, our exploration led us to the discovery of no less than 20 plant-derived molecules, known as polyphenols. These polyphenols hold the remarkable ability to activate a pivotal enzyme known as sirtuin-1, or simply SIRT1. As we delved into the intricate effects of these polyphenols on the human body, we unveiled a tapestry of truly remarkable transformations they can induce. In addition to resveratrol, our journey through the world of polyphenols introduces us to other noteworthy compounds like phys eden and quercetin. These supplements are currently generating considerable excitement, but their potential benefits have been hiding in plain sight all along. Understanding the stress levels of the food we consume is a key factor in optimizing its potential benefits for our health. To embark on this journey of discernment, we can begin with a general rule of thumb, foods that are grown organically in pesticide-free environments tend to undergo more natural stressors. It's a notion grounded in the idea that these plants, devoid of chemical protections, are exposed to a range of environmental challenges. Harnessing the power of food to alleviate stress within our bodies is a captivating approach that allows us to thrive. The essence of this philosophy is rooted in the idea of stressing our food. So we, in turn, can reap the rewards without enduring the strain ourselves. Within my laboratory, we've embarked on fascinating experiments involving polyphenols and their impact on the well-being of mice. Astonishingly, when we administer polyphenols to these mice, we observe a remarkable transformation. They not only experience improved health but also exhibit a surge in their physical endurance. Akin to the effects of rigorous exercise, this intriguing phenomenon fuels our quest to understand the potential of these compounds further. My mornings are infused with the vibrant energy of matcha tea, a delightful elixir that unfurls in rich, velvety shades of dark green. It's in this creamy concoction that the magic of epigallication, gallet, EGCG, from green tea comes to life. EGCG, a potent polyphenol, takes center stage with its impressive anti-inflammatory properties, offering a nourishing and invigorating start to the day. Dr. Sinclair's culinary choices extend beyond just embracing the vibrant world of polyphenols. Amidst a medley of leafy greens that grace his plate, spinach stands out as a beloved addition. This verdant vegetable not only offers a delightful burst of flavor but also serves as an excellent source of essential iron, a mineral crucial for our well-being. A generous drizzle of olive oil, rich in oleic acid, takes center stage in Dr. Sinclair's culinary repertoire. This unassuming yet potent ingredient plays a pivotal role in activating the body sirtuins, aligning with the principles of a Mediterranean diet. Dr. Sinclair extols the virtues of the Mediterranean and Okinawan diets as viable alternatives that he personally embraced for decades. Before embarking on an exclusively plant-based journey, his own experience with these dietary paths sheds light on their merits. While on the Okinawan diet, one thing was certain, carbohydrates took center stage, with rice leading the culinary ensemble. However, in hindsight, it became apparent that a bit of dietary diversification might have served me well. While white rice often graced my plate, a transition towards incorporating more nutrient-rich brown rice could have been a valuable addition. During my time on the Okinawan diet, my plate was predominantly adorned with plant-based fare, with soy taking a prominent role in shaping my meals. This soy-centric approach was further complemented by occasional servings of fish, adding a dash of variety to my dietary canvas. 
In the ever-evolving landscape of aging research, we find ourselves at a crossroads, challenging long-held beliefs and forging a new theory of aging. Gone are the days when antioxidants were hailed as the ultimate elixir for defying the sands of time. It turns out that antioxidants, once heralded as the panacea, have fallen short in the quest to extend the lifespan. Even in the humblest of creatures, like the common worm, my daily regimen includes a careful selection of supplements, each with its own unique role in supporting my well-being. To start, I opt for a gram of resveratrol, a compound often associated with the vibrant red hues of wine grapes. This daily ritual is coupled with a serving of yogurt, offering a harmonious blend of flavors and textures. In the realm of supplements, a fascinating journey unfolds with each carefully chosen element. Among them, resveratrol takes its place as a remarkable compound sourced from grapes. Its daily rendezvous with my morning yogurt encapsulates a delightful fusion of science and taste. As the years roll on, a gradual but undeniable shift occurs within our bodies. NAD, a vital coenzyme that orchestrates various biological processes, becomes scarcer. It's a critical player in the intricate dance of longevity, particularly in bolstering the activity of sirtuins, those guardians of youthfulness, that we uncovered in our research. The power of NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, in the realm of rejuvenation cannot be overstated. Its remarkable ability to restore NAD levels to a state reminiscent of our youth, circa age 20, is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The trilogy of my daily supplement routine continues with the inclusion of metformin. Now, metformin does come with its share of debate and discussion, primarily due to its classification as a drug. However, it's important to demystify the term drug here, as not all substances bearing this label are inherently harmful. In fact, metformin stands as a shining example of one of the safest drugs worldwide. The fascinating realm of metformin extends far beyond its conventional role in regulating blood sugar levels. Research has unveiled a remarkable connection between metformin and longevity, painting a compelling portrait of extended lifespans. Let's take a closer look at the dietary choices Dr. Sinclair made in his quest for longevity. First and foremost, sugar emerged as a formidable adversary on this journey. Sugar, especially in the form of glucose, and the notorious fructose, wields considerable destructive potential. Experiments with animals have unveiled the alarming consequences of excessive sugar consumption, ranging from the onset of fatty liver, disease to the development of diabetes, high blood sugar, an insidious consequence of excessive sugar consumption, stands as a prominent harbinger of our long-term well-being. It's not merely a numerical value on a medical report, it's a critical factor that influences the course of our longevity. Furthermore, there's yet another compelling reason to maintain a watchful eye on your sugar intake especially the type found in fruit juices and overly sugary fruits like berries. These sugary indulgences can catapult your blood sugar levels into a tumultuous roller coaster ride. And that's hardly a recipe for long-term health. Patience is key when you embark on the journey of sugar reduction. Give your liver the time it needs to adapt, about two weeks should suffice. Our livers, though often characterized as somewhat indolent, are remarkably adaptable organs. Over this brief period, they acquire the crucial knowledge that, each morning, they must step up to the plate and produce the necessary sugar for our bodies. Managing sugar spikes can be a delicate balancing act, one that doesn't necessarily require draconian measures. You can adopt a sensible approach, like saving sugary treats for the end of your meal. It's about finding that sweet spot between indulgence and moderation. For instance, a few scoops of ice cream here, and there can still be a delightful treat without turning it into a nightly ritual. It's all about making mindful choices and savoring those occasional indulgences. It's clear that reducing sugar intake is crucial for our health. When we aim to cut down on sugar, there are healthier alternatives to explore. For instance, monk fruit and stevia are excellent sugar substitutes that can satisfy our sweet tooth without the negative effects of sugar. Dr. Sinclair has also made dietary changes including eliminating sugar from his diet, recognizing its impact on overall well-being. One of the most significant changes I made to my diet was reducing my carbohydrate intake. I used to consume bread daily, often as a staple for various meals. However, I decided to eliminate it, 
and I immediately noticed positive changes in my biochemistry. This shift had a remarkable impact on my overall well-being. When it comes to managing my glucose levels, I've learned that indulging in a piece of toast for breakfast or, dare I say, a large glass of orange juice, may provide an initial sugar rush that feels fantastic. However, this pleasure is short-lived because the body responds by releasing excessive insulin to rapidly remove that glucose from your bloodstream. This meticulous management of glucose levels has allowed me to avoid the dreaded roller coaster of sugar spikes and crashes. In the past, consuming a sugary meal would send me on a wild ride, causing my blood sugar to plummet into the realm of hypoglycemia. The hunger-inducing hormone ghrelin would surge, and I'd find myself craving another meal. However, I've now reached a point where I no longer experience these dramatic ups and downs. My liver consistently produces glucose from the moment I wake up, ensuring a steady and balanced energy level throughout the day. Embracing this dietary discipline, I've experienced a level of focus and mental clarity like never before. The absence of those debilitating crashes, characterized by shakiness, fatigue, and brain fog, has been truly transformative. Looking back, I can't help but wish I had adopted this approach in my 20s and made it a lifelong practice. This lifestyle change has had a profound impact on my well-being, and I've never felt better in my entire life as I continued to refine my dietary choices. The next significant step was cutting out meat. This decision yielded even more impressive results. With improvements in cholesterol and triglyceride levels, it's worth noting that I have a familial history of heart disease making these changes all the more critical for my overall health. It's not just about the protein, it's also about the fat content that typically accompanies meat, whether it's a juicy steak or any other meaty delight. I have a deep appreciation for the taste of meat, it's undeniably delicious. However, when you delve into the science of longevity, it becomes evident that plant-based protein sources offer a more promising return on investment than meat. The protein found in plants possesses a unique amino acid ratio that acts as a catalyst for the activation of longevity genes like sirtuins and MTOR. When you consume meat consistently with every meal, your body may not be effectively combating the aging process as it could if you incorporated more plant-based foods into your diet. However, it's essential to strike a balance between the two. I made a few dietary changes over time. Firstly, I started incorporating fish occasionally, appreciating its rich source of omega-3 fatty acids. So, while I'm not against meat, my emphasis shifted towards a plant-based diet whenever possible. I wasn't lactose intolerant, but surprisingly, cutting out dairy had a positive effect on my well-being. I used to consume a substantial amount of protein, not just from meat but also from eggs and similar sources. Interestingly, reducing my protein intake seemed to have an impact on the MTOR pathway, which I believe plays a significant role in these improvements. It's fascinating to note that the MTOR pathway, which is crucial for longevity, seems to be responding differently now. Recent research from the past two years has shed light on the detrimental effects of daily alcohol consumption, leading me to eliminate alcohol from my diet. Instead, I've shifted my focus towards a plant-based approach. However, I understand that this dietary transition might not suit everyone. If you're hesitant to bid farewell to your beloved wine, consider this valuable insight from Dr. Sinclair. When it comes to red wine, opt for grape varieties that respond well to stress. Pinot Noir, often considered one of the most stress-sensitive grape varieties, stands out as an excellent choice for those seeking both. The pleasure of wine and potential health benefits. Pinot Noir wine is renowned for its high resveratrol content, surpassing that of any other wine variety available.